Now, I will explain Newton Grigory forward interpolation formula for finding value of f of x at a desired value of x. Let x0, x1, x2, etc., xn be the values of a variable x where x values are equally spaced with step length h. That means the difference between x0, x1 is h and x2 minus x1 is h like that. So h will be equal to x1 minus x0. This will be equal to x2 minus x1 like that. So you can apply newton Grigory forward interpolation formula if and only if x values are equally spaced. And also let y0, y1, etc., yn be the values of the function y equal to fx at x0, x1, etc., xn. Suppose you have to find out value of f of x at any value of x. Then it can calculate by using this formula. fx is equal to y0 plus r into here r is x minus x0 by h. This is the formula. So x0 is the first value in the table. So then r will be x minus x0 by h. h is the step length. So then y0 plus r into delta y0 plus r r minus 1 by 2 factorial delta square y0 plus etc. Here delta y0 delta square y0 delta cube y0 they are known as forward differences. So this is first forward difference, this is second forward difference and this is third forward difference like that. Now I will explain what is meant by these forward differences. So I will explain it for some three values. Let x takes the values x0, x1, x2 and x3. And y takes the values at x0, let y is equal to y0. And let x0 at x1, let it be y1, y2 and y3 like that. So first forward difference means we are finding the difference between these two. That means y1 we will be calculating y1 minus y0 and this is denoted by delta y0. This is the first forward difference and then that means y1 minus y, y0. And then y2 minus y1 that is denoted by delta y1. So that is y2 minus y1. And again y3 minus y2 is denoted by delta y2. So these are the first forward differences. And now second forward difference means difference between these two. And it is denoted like this, delta square y0 that is equal to delta y1 minus delta y0. And then delta y1 minus delta y2 that is delta, sorry, delta y2 minus delta y1 that is denoted as delta square y1. They are known as second forward differences. That is differences of first forward differences. Like this. We can find out differences of second forward differences. They are known as third forward differences. So in this case, you will get only one th uh, third forward difference. That is uh, delta square y1 minus delta square y0. So we will denote it by delta cube y0. You see while writing forward differences, here, here we have y0, y1, y2, y3, but here we have delta y0, delta y1, delta y2. Delta y3 is not there. So when you come to second difference column, there you have delta square y0, delta square y1. There is no, uh, uh, okay, there is no y2, y3 terms there. And when you are coming to third forward difference, we have only delta cube y0. 
So if you are having more data here, that is x4, x5 like that, you will be having more columns. So now, uh, this is the formula for evaluating value of y at a desired value of x. So here in this formula, you have to substitute y0, that is the first value, and then delta y0, again first value in the next column, and delta square y0 means again that is the first value in the second difference column, and here delta cube y0, that is the value, first value in the third forward difference column. So if you are having one more column, you write down one more term here. So next term will be r into r minus 1 into r minus 2 by 3 fact uh, into r minus 3 by 4 factorial into delta raised to 4 delta cube by naught plus etc. Okay. So now I will explain this one with the help of one problem. So consider the same problem which we have uh, discussed in the beginning of this lecture that is the population problem. So I will write it here. So year is 1931 and 1941, 1951, 1961. Population in all these years were given. So population that is in lakhs. So it is given as 66, 81, 93 and 101. Suppose you have to find out the population in the year 1935. Actually that will come here, 1935 will come here. So this is the missing data. So then for evaluating this one, we will use Newton forward difference formula. So when the value of the x at which you want to evaluate f of x, if this x is near to the beginning value, we will use forward interpolation formula. So if you want to find out the population in the year 1962, and now this is near to the last value in the table, it is near to 1961, this is our xn. In that case, you have to use Newton backward interpolation formula that will I will be explaining in the next lecture. So now in this case this unknown value that is 1935 that lies near to the beginning value of the table. So we will be using this forward difference formula. So first you have to prepare this table. So in this table values of x are 1931 1941, 1951, and 1961. So now y values are 66, 81, 93, and 101. So now we will evaluate the forward differences. That is 81 minus 66. Always second term minus first term. So 81 minus 66 is 15. And now next is 93 minus 81. That is 12. And now 101 minus 93. That is 8. These are the first forward differences. Now second forward differences. That is 12 minus 15. So you will get it as minus 3. Now, h minus 12, that is minus 4. Now then, third forward difference, you will get only one value, that is minus 1. So, when you are writing this forward differences, you write down in between. So, you are finding the difference between 81 and 66. So, you write down this 15 in the middle of these two. So, you will be writing like that in the table. So, now... You will be, and now this is our x0. Actually, this is our first value x0. This is x1, and now this is x2, and this is x3. So, therefore, this is y0, and in this case, y1 is 81, and this is our y2, and this is y3. So, this will be our delta y0, and this is delta y1, this is delta y2, and this is delta square y0. And this is delta cube y naught, that is minus 1. Now then, 
and uh, this is our y naught. Okay, now you see this formula, and y naught this value sixty six delta y naught fifteen delta square y naught minus three delta cube y naught minus one. So now we have to evaluate the value of r, and now the value for r is x minus x naught by h. That is the formula for evaluating r. I'll write it here. So r is equal to x minus x naught by h. Now then, we are going to find out value h. X is equal to nineteen thirty five. So this is our x. So now nineteen thirty five minus x naught first value that is nineteen thirty one nineteen thirty one divided by h. H is step length. So in this case, step length is ten. Difference between x values. So if you want to apply Newton forward interpolation formula, all these x values should be equally spaced. You see, you can verify that. Difference between these two value ten, and here nineteen forty one plus ten is nineteen fifty one. Nineteen fifty one plus ten is nineteen sixty one. They are equally spaced, and the value for h is ten here. So if you are evaluating this one, you will get the value as zero point four. So x is zero point four. Now we substitute all these values in this formula. So y naught is sixty six. And R is 0.4, and delta y naught is 15, and here R 0.4, and this is 0.4 minus 1, and delta square y naught is minus 3, and here R again 0.4, and this is 0.4 minus 1, and this is 0.4 minus 2, and delta cube y naught. That is minus one. So you will get minus one here. So now simplify. You will get the value as seventy-two point two nine six. So this is the population in the year nineteen thirty-five. So you will get corresponding to this nineteen thirty-five. You will get seventy-two point two nine six. This is the final answer. So now actually, basically, what we will do in Newton forward interpolation formula is suppose some data is given where x values are equally spaced. We can uh, prepare this difference table and we can make use of this formula to find out value of f of x and any desired value of x. And again, one more point. So instead of here, I have. Calculated R R S X minus X naught by H that is point four, and I substituted here. So instead of substituting this point four, suppose you are writing here R S X minus nineteen thirty one by ten, and if you are substituting the value of R in this formula like this, you will get a polynomial. That polynomial is known as interpolating polynomial. The advantage of finding interpolating polynomial is that once you get a polynomial, we can find out value of the f of x at any value of x by substituting in that one.